This episode is a continuation of the entry system which is part 2 of basic bookkeeping course. And for today we shall be discussing the related topics of various account titles, and illustrate their use through examples of transactions in a grocery business, that of Sarah's Mini Mart for September 2020. The following are the transactions, 1. On September 20th, SMM sold, in cash, merchandise worth $1,500 in total. The first entry is to record the sale of merchandise in cash, and it is debit cash of $1,500 for the money received from customers, and credit sales, revenues of $1,500 for the selling price. The second entry is to record the cost of merchandise sold in cash, assume that the total cost is $1,200, hence the entry is debit cost of sales for $1,200, which is the purchase price, and credit merchandise inventory for $1,200 to decrease the merchandise inventory. 2. On September 25, SMM sold on credit, merchandise worth $700 in total, the entry is, debit accounts receivable of $700 for the selling price which is receivable from the customers, and credit sales, revenues of $700 for the selling price. The second entry is to record the cost of merchandise sold on credit, assume that the total cost is $560, hence the entry is debit cost of sales for $560, to record the purchase price. And credit merchandise inventory for $560 to decrease the merchandise inventory. Please take note that, in practice, the entries in both transactions on September 20th and 25 are taken up in SMM's books on a per-transaction, per-day, and per-customer basis, using digital systems. For purposes of illustration, we have lumped the transactions per classification, 3. On September 26th, SMM paid 50% of its loan of $1,000 from its supplier. The entry is debit accounts payable for $500 to decrease the liability, and credit cash for $500 to decrease the account. 4. On September 27, SMM purchased, on credit, through a promissory note, additional merchandise for sale worth $12,000. The entry is debit merchandise inventory of $12,000 for the purchase price, and credit notes payable of $12,000 to record SMM's liability. 5. On September 27, SMM paid $600 representing its rental fee for the store space for September. The entry is debit rent expense of $600 to record the rental fee and credit cash of $600 to reduce the account. 6. On September 28, SMM paid $2,500 for the salaries of its four employees for September. The entry is, debit salaries expense of $2,500 to record salaries, and credit cash of $2,500 to reduce the asset account. 7. On September 30, SMM sold, in cash, merchandise worth $12,500 in total. The first entry is to record the sale of merchandise in cash, and it is debit cash of $12,500 for the money received and credit sales, revenues of $12,500 for the selling price of merchandise sold. The second entry is to record the cost of merchandise sold in cash, assume that the total cost is $10,000, hence the entry is debit cost of sales for $10,000, which is the purchase price and credit merchandise inventory for $10,000 to decrease the asset account. 8. On September 30, SMM paid $3,600 for the cost of repairs and repainting of the rented store space. Assume that the works done will benefit SMM for one year starting September 1, 2020. The entry to record the total amount of $3,600 paid to the contractor is, debit leasehold improvement, an asset account of $3,600, for the cost of the repairs and repainting, and credit cash of $3,600 to decrease the account. Please note that in accounting, the cost of repairs and painting is recognized as an asset using the account title leasehold improvement because it will benefit the business for one year. 9. On September 30th, SMM paid the following business-related expenses, $400 for transportation, $100 store supplies, electricity $500, water $200. The entries are, debit the following transportation expense $400, store supplies expense $100, light expense $500, water expense $200, and credit cash of $1,200 to decrease the account for the total expenses paid. 
10. On September 30, Sarah took home groceries for personal use worth $1,500 which is at cost, and told the bookkeeper to deduct the $500 from her capital and the $1,000 to be paid on October 30, 2020. The entries are debit other receivable $1,000 from Sarah and debit also capital of $500 to decrease the account because the cost of groceries is considered as drawings, and credit merchandise inventory $1,500 to decrease the account. The double entry principle and concepts of debit and credit entries are summarized as follows. Debits are ones that account for the following effects. Increase in assets. Increase in expense. A decrease in liability. A decrease in equity. A decrease in income. Credits are ones that account for the following effects. A decrease in assets. A decrease in expense. Increase in liability. Increase in equity. Increase in income.